GeForce Now is officially working on Xbox. Xbox is apparently working on a Wu-Tang Clan themed RPG. And if you're signed up to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you are gonna get extra perks when playing Halo Infinite's multiplayer. One of my favorite things about the Xbox Series X and S is the ability to pretty much be whatever you want it to be, whether that is unlocking the developer mode or just taking advantage of something like the Microsoft Edge browser that now officially is gonna give you accessibility and support for GeForce Now. So there's a few things here. Firstly, Nvidia is unlocking access to GeForce Now, which GeForce Now is a streaming service that you can stream Steam games and PC games on any device that supports GeForce Now. There's access to more than 1,000 PC games, and this is now gonna be available through your Microsoft Edge browser within your Xbox Series X and S. And what's great about all of this is the fact that there's full keyboard and mouse support on the Edge browser, and you're gonna be able to play games that don't even have controller support yet through GeForce Now, through Microsoft Edge. Now, obviously this experience isn't gonna be 100% perfect. It's gonna to continue to grow and get better and everything like that. But the fact that Nvidia has officially themselves unlocked it means that they probably are going to try to make this experience through the Edge browser as good as possible. We go here to a tweet here from Tom Warren, who is actually able to do this showing off how it works going into the browser, going to GeForce Now, and then just loading up a game here and being able to play. Now this is shitty video quality because it is through Twitter, but it is working properly. Here he is playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which as we know is a major PC game, but hey, let's say one day you're just sitting at your Xbox and you wanna just kind of see how it works, open up the Edge browser, play this game, and you'll get a good idea as to the latency and all that kind of stuff, and if it is even viable to play. See here, there's also still the cursor, like the browser cursors from Edge on Xbox on the screen, so that's gonna be kind of annoying, but from when he's playing through it, yeah, there is in perfect one-to-one, -one, but it doesn't look that laggy, and it looks like it could be feasible. I think ideally going forward, if GeForce NVIDIA, GeForce Now is all for this being used on an Xbox console, why not just create a native application for the Xbox Series X and S? You have that NVIDIA GeForce Now tile on your Xbox, and if you want to load it up and play PC games through the console, you can go ahead and do that. So this is super cool. You can even play a game like Death Stranding, which is an exclusive PlayStation game. And hey, maybe if one day those PlayStation games that come to PC are going to be a part of the GeForce Now service. You're going to be able to play first party PlayStation games on your Xbox. All right, jumping over here to something that is weird and interesting and all that kind of stuff. And it is that Xbox may be working on a Wu-Tang themed action RPG led by Brass Lion Entertainment. So when we go over to their website, we can see that their current project they are working on is called Corner Wolves. So from what I understand about Corner Wolves is that they are working on a game with this IP, but there's also a podcast based around it. And this studio in general, Brass Line Entertainment, has developers and people who have worked on games like Mass Effect, Sleeping Dogs, and the Fallout franchise. So there's definitely a decent pedigree in this game, but it looks like now Xbox is teaming up with Brass Line Entertainment and gonna be working on a Wu-Tang themed action RPG. So the rumor around this project really has come with the NVIDIA GeForce Now leak and then it was talked about on the Xbox 2 podcast and then later talked about by Jeff Grubb where he kind of confirmed the information that was going around. And the gist of this game from what it says here is that it is going to be a melee oriented RPG with four player co-op going to have a campaign that runs a couple of dozens of hours and it's going to have complete rich end game comprised of seasonal content drops and other updates now in terms of the gameplay itself you're going to obtain loot weapons and gear and all that kind of stuff which you do in an rpg and there's going to be procedural end game dungeons and more tailor-made events so overall i mean it sounds pretty cool the soundtrack of the game is going to be backed by Wu-Tang Clan, so I mean, if you are a fan of their work, you're definitely gonna wanna see more about this game. And apparently it's gonna be in partnership with Xbox. So it's gonna be from the Xbox Games Publishing, Global Publishing Department, who I guess reached out to Brass Lion for this project and it probably will be a day one Xbox Game Pass game if we can assume that this rumor and leak is going to come true. So we've got the Halo Infinite campaign 
overview today, which I did a video about that earlier. Make sure to go check it out, my thoughts on it. But we've also seen a ton of the Halo Infinite multiplayer previously for the last couple of months with the technical tests and all that kind of stuff. And the big difference between the two when it comes to the Xbox ecosystem, of course, is Halo Infinite multiplayer is going to be free to play. The campaign is a full price game or you're going to get full access to it if you're on Xbox Game Pass. Now, there are going to be perks here for the multiplayer as well if you are signed up to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Now, this is something that was said in their xbox wire article where they kind of went over what is coming up leading up to the 20th anniversary of xbox and they mentioned here halo infinite will be available in game pass when it launches across xbox one series x s and pc game pass ultimate members will also receive monthly multiplayer bonuses as part of the perks program now we have no idea what that actually means whether it's going to be like in-game cosmetic skins that kind of stuff or maybe something that gives you somewhat of an xp boost nobody actually knows however this is actually a great idea with the fact that it is free to play multiplayer if you are somebody who just always wants to have everything involved with the game whether that is a specific skin a skin that is exclusive to a certain service a skin that's exclusive to like the energy drinks or the chips and stuff that they market with Halo Infinite. Some people are probably gonna sign up to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate just to get these additional perks. And this is gonna be one way for Xbox to get people, you could say, to still sign up to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, even if the only Xbox game they really wanna play is Halo to get those additional perks. And then once they're in, they're gonna be able to discover like what the service is about and all of the value within Xbox Game Pass because it's an incredible service, the best value in gaming. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Are you gonna try out NVIDIA GeForce Now through the Microsoft Edge browser? What do you think about the Wu-Tang Clan themed RPG? And are you going to get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for Halo Infinite's multiplayer if you don't already have it? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here and you like what you see throughout this video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow, help grow this community so we can have great conversations in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll catch you in the next video.